Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tricia, and I have a couple of Dollar Tree decorative vase ideas that I want to share with you. The first one, which is the easiest one, it is called a metallic painted vase. I love the fact that Dollar Tree has these square vases now. When I went into one store, I saw these uh, metallic tissue paper. So it has like the regular tissue paper one side and then they have this metallic color on the other side with a pretty design. So I'm going to use this to decorate this particular vase and I'm also going to use this Mod Podge along with a sponge brush. They have a variety of the metallic tissue papers so make sure you check out the gift section of the Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I did was I measured the length and the width of the vase and there's four sides so each side was approximately three inches so three times four, twelve and then it is six inches long. So I just marked that on my tissue paper as you can see and I started from the corner and moved out and now I'm going to cut it. Just gonna cut it on the line. I did make sure that I had a little bit more than the actual size. Okay, so I put some Mod Podge in a container, small container, and I'm just gonna brush on only on one side the Mod Podge and then smooth it out. Okay. Next I placed the tissue paper on top and then I smoothed it out. Now I'm just going to flip it over on the side and then proceed to put a little bit more Mod Podge on the side. Make sure I get all of it covered and then carefully stretch it out and smooth out the tissue paper and repeat. The tissue paper did wrinkle a little bit. It still looks okay. So make sure you take your time because the tissue paper is very delicate. Now I'm going to add Mod Podge on top of the tissue paper carefully. So I'm gonna let that dry. And this is how it turned out. The second vase is a stenciled mirror vase. I'm going to use this clear vase and what's different about this one, it spreads outward at the top, which is really nice. I'm also going to use these wall stickers. They have some on the front as well as the back. I've already wiped down my vase with alcohol and removed any stickers that were on it. So now I'm just going to apply it in the center of the vase and make sure it is completely flat. You can stop here and just have one sticker, but I want the entire face to be covered in stickers. And I'm even going to use the pieces that are in the middle. Okay, so here's what I put on my vase. I tried to fill in all the spaces. I decided to use uh, this Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect spray paint. I absolutely love the spray paint. I've used this on several projects. So there's really not much to it. Just gonna lightly spray. Sometimes you might have to come back and do two coats. So I'm just gonna walk around. Okay, my paint is dry and the next step is to remove the stickers that are on there. So I'm just gonna slowly pull that off and then show you guys what it looks like in the end. The third one is a gold painted gem base.
For the next project, I am going to use two of these pretty vases that I got, and they come in different colors too. I'm just gonna use one of the small bowls, and it comes in a pack of four. So the first thing that I wanna do is take the small bowl, flip it over, and add E6000 on top. I'm going to put a generous amount on there, and then I'm gonna place the vase on top and make sure it's centered. I'm also going to add E6000 to the top of the small vase. And I'm going to place the second one on top. Now that our glue is dry, my next step is to paint. So I'm going to use this enamels folk art paint. I'm just gonna put one layer on there and then um, let it dry for an hour and then do another layer. The reason why I decided to use this particular paint is because it's um, great for glass. It says it specifically on here that it's um, acrylic paint for glass and ceramics. So make sure whatever paint you decide to use that it works well with glass. So I ended up doing three coats of the white paint and it looks so pretty. So you can leave it white if you want or you can take it a step further and apply this gold leaf to all the details and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. You really don't need much. So I'm just taking like a little dot and, and I think that's almost too much. And what I'm gonna do is just Put a little bit on the end to enhance the detail. So I'm just gonna rub that in a little bit. It's gonna make it look a little bit antique. Right now it doesn't look like anything, but <laughs> I'm hoping it will turn out to look fantastic when I finish. So it still has a little bit of the white on the inside of it. So I use one, my index finger to apply it, and then my middle finger to like wipe it in, or wipe it around. You see, I don't need much. And now I think I want to get in the middle a little bit. So I'm gonna finish the entire piece and we'll show you what it looks like in the end. Once you finish, you just let it dry. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check out all of my videos and hit that subscribe button. If you like what I did, hit the like button too and share it with everyone. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, please be sure to stop by and say hello. I'm at Designs by Tricia on Instagram and at I'm Tricia J.A. on Facebook.